Hey guys, what's up? By Stacktron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video. And this is going to be a quick one just because I have a long one coming up. Uh, we just had an arranged matchup, uh, but this was also a close war. Um, and it was against a clan that we suspected was modding, uh, at least some of them were. Uh, I don't want to get into this because I don't know if the allegations are true or how many of them were doing it. Uh, but I wasn't in this war, but it was a very close war. I got the win by one star. Uh, the difference was they did not three-star double or seven, so all the tens were two-starred, all the nines three-starred except for that one. Uh, so that got us the win, so nice job on the base double or seven. We're only going to take a look at two attacks, like I said, a little bit of a shorter recap in anticipation of the longer one coming. Uh, starting with Jelly taking on number four, and we'll fast forward. Uh, just quaking right in the middle there, going to open up basically the entire... Uh, middle part of the base besides all the outside compartments uh, then going in with a queen walk using a wizard to push her the way he wants her to go and she'll go ahead and walk up uh, to the left side here just taking out defenses uh, pretty good value for the queen we'll fast forward a little bit as she makes her way around uh, taking out these buildings getting that wizard tower and then she's going to step up and also get a few of uh, the buildings there the archer tower mortar so quite a few defenses uh, good base to queen walk right there then comes in with two golems down here uh, wizards great in the funnel typical stuff and then in just a moment he's going to wall break her in and that's going to let all these troops into the entire uh, middle part of the base good test wall breaker there's a spring trap there so kind of avoided that and then comes in uh, busts that open good timing there um, the only thing is I should have had a plan for those two point defense right there because the queen hasn't gotten there yet, and they're kind of going to flank his kill squad, take out some of his wizards and stuff. Uh, but anyway, the Valks are coming in. has quite a few Valks, plus the king and those two golems, so a pretty hefty kill squad. Uh, has to pop the queen's ability on the left as she's taking some damage, uh, but she's going to be healed back up. And then has a heal for the kill squad. Going to heal up those Valks in just a moment right here. Uh, they're taking a lot of damage, plus the uh, giant bomb. It's always good to use, if you're bringing a lot of Valks, you want to invest a heal. I always say invest your spells where you're investing your troop space. Uh, so good heal there in the Valks. Now coming in with a few surgical hogs in the bottom here, that's all good. Um, Lava Hound is not touching the queen, which is great. And then you can see the queen barely goes down on the bottom, so the healers are actually going to come back up and start healing the king. Uh, so still getting the value from them. And then off all those hogs coming in, uh, great job in the surgical deployment, just overwhelm the base. Way too many hogs, uh, didn't need it. <laughs> all of those. And then uh, the king's taking for this last two point defense as the hogs make their way down. And we'll fast forward as cleanup happens. Still has quite a few Valks up. That's the one thing, it's like uh, you do a go Vaho and then it's, you, if you crush the base, you can be surprised how many Valks you have up because uh, people underestimate how many hit points they have, but they're you know, more tanky than a giant. So they have quite a few hit points. Uh, you can really let them take out a big part of the base. Uh, the second one and the last one we're looking at is uh, Karam, I think, Karam. That's how I was told to uh, pronounce the name. Come in here with a nice dragon attack and a queen walk, so just something different. But I've been seeing this more and more as I've watched some of these uh, higher level wars with the anti-three-star bases and all that stuff. I've seen more dragon attacks at Town Hall 9. And uh, I don't know exactly why, but when people put the, the air defenses uh, close enough to the outside where they can be queen walked, it really allows uh, people to use these kind of strategies. And also just the new zap quake also. You can take out any air defense you want. So a lot of factors. This has become more popular. But uh, Karam's coming in with a golem and a jump. Just going to take out the queen and air defense. Pretty accessible. Easy uh, right there. Then goes ahead and poisons the CC troops to get those balloons taken out and soften up that dragon. Goes ahead and zap quakes the air defense on the right side. So now just two air defenses left, and the goal is to basically get the queen in there and take out those last two, uh, which is very doable. Has the king to deal with, but also has a rage for the queen. And you can see how early he's dropping that rage, because uh, it, it, the rage is a little bit far up, I think, because the queen steps up and the, the healers aren't in the rage. And you almost always want the healers to be in the rage. Uh, but in just a moment, they'll get in it, and they'll be able to heal the queen a lot quicker. Already starting with the dragons at the bottom. Um, Going to just take out this bottom part of the base, let them work their way to the right side, 
and then has a few balloons for different parts of the base. I love those balloons on the left there because all those archer towers are on the, the uh, queen, so it's basically just free pickings on those defenses. Uh, great job there. Still has the queen's ability. She's going to be healed back up as that archer tower goes down. And then the dragons are just m w making their way up on the right side. Uh, not a whole lot of uh, air targeting defenses there, so i uh, going to get great value for those dragons and also a few balloons sprinkled in. And then that queen's going to step up in just a moment and get that last air defense. So a really well-planned attack. Uh, every part of it was spot on, and those balloons eventually will get to that air sweeper and then to that expo. So queen's doing a lot of tanking, which is great because the healers are on her. Um, it has the ability right here. So the balloons are able to take out some defenses while everything's on the queen. Uh, dragon still has, I think, four of them, so just killing the space. I'm going to fast forward times two because it's pretty much over. Uh, has a few balloons left, and then the queen's back at full health. Uh, really nice attack by Karen. Uh, just picking the base apart, and queen walks on air attacks have become way more common because uh, people are realizing they can get the queen in there and let her take out a lot of uh, buildings uh, by herself as the air attack's going on. So, uh, really fun attack to watch. Nice job. All right, that's going to do it for this war recap. I know it's super short, but the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on a war that kind of has modding as part of it, because uh, we are suspecting they're modding, so I don't, I don't want to give this war too much coverage, and I want to focus on the one we're in right now that just is about to end uh, versus the Goodfellas and Arranged War. Uh, we actually got a perfect war, so I'm going to show a lot of attacks from that, uh, which is why I'm keeping this short. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying the content, and I uh, hope you had a great uh, holiday season, uh, whatever it is you were doing. But I'm glad to be back making videos, because uh, I had a little break myself. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. See you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.